folks. I, I think that uh, I think we're all uh, really looking forward to you know being downhill at a football game and looking forward to playing on a Saturday night and in a big time venue and on national television. I think our football team is ready for football. So we have a wonderful scene here tonight. The duck is certainly ready. Let's settle back and enjoy the opening kickoff. Run the ball and be conservative and just try not to lose the game on offense. Now Barner is back deep again for the Ducks and this is a beautiful punt. Back to the 15 running backwards loose free ball touchdown LSU Matthew picks it up and runs in and LSU strikes. Gonna throw for it. Got one on one. Touchdown, Randall. First catch of the night. And it's for the go ahead touchdown. One on one against an Oregon corner. Touchdown. They stay with the run and Michael Ford. Toss play where? Got the lead block and the touchdown. There's your guy clearing the way again for you, Irby. Absolutely. It's been a long time since we saw two top five teams play in the opening weekend. There was a lot at stake here, of course, with the BCS. That's the way it's set up, and uh, LSU prevailed. Their defense dominated the football game. We are getting ready to open up the 2011 campaign in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where the Crimson Tide have their sights set on a national championship, ranked number two in the country. Great defense, talented running back, but the biggest question surrounding this club do they have a quarterback that can lead them to the promise? Yeah, line? I think they do. This team really resembles 0-9 when you talk about 10 defensive starters. And then they had a question mark at quarterback then. Greg McElroy's first year as a, as a starter of this Alabama team. Now you got Phillip Sims, A.J. McCarron. And eight. See what Alabama plans. Blitz from the outside. And throw. Intercepted. This is Dequan Menzi. Touchdown. Mays gathers it in at the 17. He's got some room. Gets a block. Breeding's got to stop him. Breeding doesn't. Now there's still a chance defensively. Look at Mays. Now he's at the 10. Cuts back. Brilliant run. Marquise Mays. And goal. Lacey. Touchdown. Crimson Tide. Alabama wins it for five consecutive years now. Really and truly, you know, our goal is BCS. I think, you know, we're, we're putting a lot of pressure on ourselves, you know, in a good way. I think we uh, got a lot of a lot of firepower back on both sides of the ball. I think we got a chance to be pretty good. I think that uh, if we play well and don't turn the ball over, that we can beat everybody we play. You guys feel like you have the talent to win it all? Oh, I know we have the talent to do it. It's just uh, we're just going to have to work hard and play week by week and uh, just to reach that goal. Brandon Whedon throws to the end zone, and it is no signal yet. The officials now say incomplete. You have to maintain control all the way through the catch. But it looks like he has it all the way through the catch, and then he's pushed. But before that possession was made, it is going to be a touchdown. Right call. Crowd very quiet now as Tannehill took the snap on second and six as a man wide open up the middle of the field. Kenrick McNeil lost the football as he was tackled. And Oklahoma State has it. And defense has to be gassed. They've been on the field virtually the entire quarter. Wayden back of the end zone, caught. Touchdown, Tracy Moore in the lead for the first time today for Oklahoma State. So Oklahoma State, certainly a national championship contender. Oklahoma State's real. They can move. We said you're going to ball is going to be in the air and they could move the ball up and down the field and they did it. Oh, no, they throw off it. The Mad Hatter is at it again. Touchdown LSU. Beckham scores. Richardson. Look at that. Say good night. Cause there ain't no parachute that they can make for this. Cause I put my pain, my heart, my soul, my faith in this. 
Does anyone feel like how I feel? Then you can relate to this. Yeah. I just blaze it this. Maybe roll one up, then take a hit. Yeah. Toast to the good life, then take a sip. Yeah. Make hay every day, yeah, take a trip. Yeah. It's easy to see I was made for this. Yeah. From the womb all the way to the grave, I spit. Yeah. Just to show y'all what greatness is. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking very lucid. Very like making movies. To picture my life, boy, you need a higher resolution. Yeah. I used to cut class in the day, then run away at night. But now I'm ruler of the upper class, and I don't it even write. just a dream. Just a moment ago, I was up so high, looking down at the sky, don't let me fall, I was shooting for stars, on a Saturday night, they say what goes up, must come down, but don't let me fall, don't let me fall. Two twenty-four remaining first quarters. We take a look at this week's BCS standings brought to you by Tostitos, LSU and Alabama Idol. Their big clash is next week in Tuscaloosa. The game of the century. Number one, LSU. Number two, Alabama. To me, this is the national championship. Alabama is a better football team. LSU has a great defense. Alabama has unequivocally the best defense. They're playing in Tuscaloosa. If you guys have ever been there, you know that's an impossible place to try and win. They've only given up 55 points all season long. LSU has probably had a better season to date, mm -hmm. just in terms of who they've beaten and who they've played. But Alabama, clearly a better team, and they'll show clearly, that on Saturday. Clearly, he said. Clearly. Now to the game that everybody in the whole world wants to talk about, the game of the century here. Well, they're going to come into this place, not be intimidated, and welcome it. But I'm going with Nick Saban in the oh. revenge game. Yeah! Alabama. Oh. Let me hear it. Roll Tide. Let me hear it one more time. Long last, the kickoff. And it's Marquise Mays. Remember in the last two years, total points in the first quarter, three points by LSU last year. Foster. S still stands. This year with two misses from 53. Wide right. McCarron will hold. Blocked. Blocked. Picked up in the air. And LSU's Eric Reed hurdles a man. Huh? Yeah, that's a good one, too. McCarron, he's got Richardson wide open. Flies by Eric Reed. Breaks another tackle and is banged out of bounds. McCarron holds it. Alabama is first on the scoreboard. Alabama brings only three. Go deep. Intercepted. Pick. No. Oh, it's no, caught. It's, it's, it's Shepard who got it. Not this time. His last pass was intercepted. Backs in the eye. Play action. He goes deep. His second pass is intercepted. Mark Barron. Flies down the sidelines, spins, and is taken down at the three. He just After sat on that route. Had the illegal block in the back. Number 99 of the return team. That's a 10 yard penalty. This one's got the distance. Knocks it home. Breaks the tie. 56 yards in all. Play action. McCarron. And the rush. Behind him. Intercepted. Picked off by Morris Claiborne. To the 20. Down to the 15. Brad Wing will hold. Joey Crapel is the snapper. And you can tell by the silence that that one was true. 
can throw. Hayes puts it up. Has to wait on it. Got it. Michael Williams. Hey, Mike, which way? Which way? Intercept it. Oh, no. What we think here is maybe Williams was still bobbling it. Yeah, I think Reed's going to end up with that ball. How about that? Overtime for a possible berth in the national championship. He does have one from 46 tonight. No. Second down. Option. Oh, he just did get rid of it. Ford down the sidelines. They call. They stepped out. They out called of him out. They out of bounds. Out. There was no touchdown. LSU remains undefeated. People are going to start talking a rematch if everything plays out. Are you in favor? I would be, I would be honored to face that team again. So let's set the scene here. Those of you who just watched LSU upset Alabama in Tuscaloosa in a battle of field goals, the number three team in the nation, Oklahoma State, now almost a certainty to climb to number two if they can win this game. Klein fires in zone, knocked away. With one second left on the clock. Klein rolls to the right, fires high and incomplete, and Oklahoma State will survive a scare. 52-45, nothing's going to come easy in the battle for the BCS championship game. Are you curious about that other game? No, what was the score? Uh, nine to six, I believe. Would you like to know who won? Who won? LSU. LSU won. There you go. Where do you think you'll be uh, in the standings on Monday? Well, I'm guessing that uh, we'll probably move up, but ultimately, you know, it doesn't matter till the very end. Oklahoma State has never been closer to a national championship shot than they are now. They were taken to the wire by Kansas State last week, but Wheaton to Blackman led the comeback, and the Cowboys survived Texas Tech against number two Oklahoma State now. We take a look now at our BCS standings brought to you by Discover Card and Alabama. Got a lot of love from the computers after their tight overtime loss at home to LSU last week. They have to be careful right now. They don't get blown out of this stadium. Whedon going end zone again. Held on to. It's a touchdown. Isaiah Anderson. Wishbone right here. Randall cuts it back up inside. Strong run by Randall. His second rushing touchdown. Play action for Whedon. Going up top. Wide open in stride. It's Josh Stewart. Another touchdown pass for Brandon Whedon. And that's the second of the day for Stewart. Number two has done nothing today to suggest that they belong anywhere else in the polls, but right where they are, positioned to potentially play for a national championship. A 60-point win. Just two wins from the BCS title game. The challenge now, not looking too far ahead. They understand the importance of taking the next step which is uh, next Friday night in Iowa. These coaches and players are dealing with tragic news. Women's basketball head coach Kurt Budke and assistant coach Miranda Serna were killed in a plane crash last night. In moments, another kickoff arrives for this undefeated team, while an entire university community is overcome with grief. And with that, we welcome you to Jack Trice Stadium here in Ames, Iowa. Tonight, Iowa State hosts the second-ranked 10-0 Oklahoma State Cowboys. In the best matchup we've seen tonight. Best defender for Iowa State against one of the best players in the country. Second and 10, and this is a strike to Moore again. And Moore keeps his footing and goes right into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. 
And they keep it with James White. And James White to the outside. And James White inside the 10. Touchdown, Cyclones. That put them in prime field position and capped by James White. And they go with the onside kick. Can you believe that? Jeremy Reeves on special teams. Right on top of it. And what guts and timing by head coach Paul Rhodes. So now's the moment to take advantage for the Cyclones. Barnett takes a strike. And that ball is pulled in by Albert Gary. He missed from 34 earlier. And we've got a touchdown game. Paul Rhodes said to us yesterday, if they play their A game and we play our game, they're going to win. But something special is in the air here. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Albert Gary. Special indeed. We have a tie game with five and a half minutes to play. To take the lead. It is no good. It's got to go to the inside of that upright. Yeah, I think it goes right over the upright. Yeah, it's it's really, really high, and it continues to fade. He showed you moments ago. 0 oh, and 18 all time against ranked teams in the top two is Iowa State. But they have taken number two to the absolute limit here. Reading to start the second overtime. Ball's in the air, and it is intercepted by Taryn Benton. Jake Knott gets the tip. The star linebacker. And Barnett's the quarterback in the gun. Woody. Touchdown, they did it! sure that this field can fit all 52,000, but they're going to try. And for the rest of college football, welcome to utter BCS chaos. If somebody sat me down and said you had to make a decision, um, with where we're at right now, Alabama lost to what would be the number one team in the country, and Oklahoma State lost to Iowa State. So. Uh, in, in our situation, uh, if I was doing it, you know, fair, I don't know how I could put us in front of them right now. No doubt at all about the Cardinal in this situation. At number three, just ahead of the Cardinal, Oklahoma State, still with dreams, aspirations of moving into the second slot, which is still occupied by Alabama. This is a pretty significant gap here in the Crimson Tide, while now moving to number two in the computers, a pretty significant edge in the two polls, in the coaches' polls and in the Harris poll, and the only team from a major conference undefeated, the LSU Tigers. Georgia Dome filled to capacity for this uh, meeting between the East and the West. To catch the pitch. Now Ware and Hilliard are in there. Jefferson throws it, caught by Hilliard, bounces off the tackle, and LSU adds to its lead. Consensus seems to be a rematch is going to happen. Take a look at their BCS resumes between Alabama and Oklahoma State. They're getting ready to kick off tonight against Oklahoma. One more game. They have an opportunity. Will the voters look at them enough, or was that big game, the game of the century, enough for everybody to want to see it again? I personally think we need more. Now, you're in an offensive conference. Good. Oklahoma State was third, okay? When you're in a defensive conference, LSU and Alabama one and two. But 107th? Mm -hmm. you got to be in the 50s to make a statement. Uh, nobody believes Oklahoma State can win. Here's the pass and the incidental contact ruled at the 35-yard line. 
And this LSU team has beaten three teams ranked in the top three this Rocky. year. Up the middle we go, Alfred Blue! All the way for a touchdown for Louisiana State. What a fantastic year this team has had. And while this is not an official Big 12 championship like we've had in past years, it is a de facto championship because the winner is the Big 12 Conference champion and will go to a BCS Bowl. They are at him as Cooper comes in motion. They keep it on the ground, and this is going to be a touchdown. Jeremy Smith. They do the same thing to the left. Randall gets a call, and he scores again. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. NFL quarterback. Landry Jones fanned one, lost the handle. Oklahoma State, if it's not a pass, it's a touchdown. And it looks like it indeed is another Cowboy score. But it's all Cowboys right now here in the third quarter. And here's Smith breaking free again and scoring again. Touchdown. And now the question starts being, how much of a statement are they making? And will they start to sway the voters' minds a little bit? Because this is becoming a rout. Well, Oklahoma State appears on its way to a win. They would have five over current top 25 teams. Seven over top 50 teams. They would be conference champion, which Alabama wouldn't be. And the only loss is each in overtime. But the pollsters aren't crazy about them. And I just well, wonder how many of those folks are watching tonight going, yeah. ooh, I think maybe these change. guys are better. I think it'll change. For a team coming in that was 107th in the nation in total defense, has put on a show tonight. And, and made them look like a legitimate national championship caliber team. To take the eighth highest scoring offense in the nation and held them to a field goal, which came on the final play of the second quarter. Here's a little flare out to Trey Franks. Champions of the Big 12 for the first time. And Bedlam about to become mayhem. Coach, I know you wanted to win a conference championship first before you talk about this. You've won it tonight. Now how do you make your case for this team deserving a shot at the national championship? Well, I think people have to decide whether they want to see a 9-6 to six game or a 39-36 to 36 game. And uh, I think this is the opportunity for people to find out how good the defense is in the SEC. We'd love to have that challenge. I think our defense is better, what everybody, better than what other people say. So, you know, last week, you know, I said Alabama should be there. There's no question Oklahoma State should be number two right now. No question. Thank you, Coach. You I don't think there's any doubt that the best way to settle this would be a playoff. But I don't know how you do it. Indeed, it should. Oklahoma State so narrowly missing a chance to play in the All-State BCS National Championship game by nine one-thousandth of a point. The narrowest margin ever between two and three. Um, you know, I, I really do think with the process that we have right now, uh, we all have to live with this system. Uh, we've got a good football team. LSU has a great football team. I think there's a lot of people out there uh, that think that these two teams are the best two teams in the country and want to see them play again. They had their shot. We, we, we want our shot. And it didn't, it didn't work out that way. And that, that kind of disappoints me a little bit. Mike, do you think that... Since OSU hasn't been a perennial power that hurt you all, I think if your name was USC or Texas, you've been in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tradition plays a big factor in it. We wanted to put all that to rest tonight because uh, we are very excited about going uh, to Scottsdale and, and playing Stanford. There's no question about that. And what a party this should be as number four Stanford takes on third-ranked Oklahoma State in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. They are two teams with contrasting styles, but they also have much in common, including plenty of offensive firepower generated by some of the greatest players in college football today. He's showing what he's got. Nice poise, no pressure. He's in control. Randall, touchdown, Oklahoma State. Daniel Zaklinski, the holder, pressure on them as well. Perfect execution in that part. The kick is no good. He hooked it badly to the left. Some very conservative runs here to start overtime. Now they put it in the hands of Luck. 
four-man rush, throws short. Montgomery couldn't make Markel Martin miss. And that one's hooking, and that one is no good. Stanford brings pressure. Whedon throws down the middle, and it is caught by Cho for a touchdown. Oklahoma State wins. Knee down. Well, That's it's not down yet. Keep it's going. down now. now. It's about and the, the half ball's yard not line. in. I think they're going to spot it at the half yard line. Yep. Wes Harlan, the holder, to win it. It is good! The only lead of the night for Mike Gundy and the Cowboys is the margin of victory. The question tonight now is, with the prospect perhaps of a split national championship, do you think that Oklahoma State did enough to make that a possibility? I would say the answer to that is no. I, I thought you had two teams that were pretty evenly matched, and, and both teams had one loss coming into it, and I thought that whoever was going to win this thing, if they had a chance for the next level to be able to split that vote, they were going to have to absolutely dominate. And, and that did not happen here tonight. You are looking live. Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana, and the 2012 All-State BCS National Championship. Claiborne, and he is brought down at the 28-yard line. Shelley nails it. And that is huge for his confidence. On second down, the delay. Richardson's got daylight. 40, 35. Going to be run out of bounds. Close to the 25-yard line with their other kicker. Nails this one. So here are the LSU possessions doing nothing offensively. Uh, three, three and outs, and the one time that Jordan Jefferson scrambled to keep a drive alive, they picked up a first down, but still they ended up punting. So here we are, you know, midway through the second quarter, and they've got one first down. Son of an Alabama assistant coach. Low snap, Jefferson picks it up, nothing doing. They are forced <laughs> to punt. So they burn a timeout, they come up with another sloppy play, and it continues for LSU. McCarron on the move, throws on the run to the sideline. Laces were spun beautifully, and he puts him up by three field goal. The statistics tell the story, and for LSU, they are flat ugly. They have not been able to even cross midfield. Need a dozen to get to the first down marker. Jefferson. Interception, threw it away. A horrible mistake. Mosley's got it. There's Ware helping out. Then he kind of sneaks out. Ware thinks he's going to take off and run with it. Just kind of flips it. Looking for that first down. Looking for anything good to happen. Toss play. Hilliard, freshman. Bust through. Keeps going. Can he get the 50? Thrown just short of it. My goodness, give me something to get excited about. I promise. <laughs> get to I that promise 50. some touchdowns to here comes pressure picked up. Jefferson forced to take off. 45-40. A splits up the middle and down to the 31-yard line. So across the 50 for the first time today. Ball at the tied 32-yard line. Running the option. Didn't run it decisively. Pitch to the man who stretched out of bounds. Fourth down and going. Could be a fumble. Hightower got in on him. Dante Hightower ripped it loose. That's a fumble. Turn it over. Jim McElwain calling the plays. Hammering away at the clock right now. And Richardson breaks free on the sideline. End zone. How about that? Finally, a touchdown between these two. Alabama gets a second chance and makes the most of it. They win the BCS championship behind Coach Nick Saban and quarterback 
A.J. McCarron. If it hadn't been so decisive, you would wonder if the Associated Press would vote LSU number one. But after what they've seen here tonight, there is no way that anybody can vote a team better than what we looked at with the Crimson Tide.